Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting session with me. In today's class, I am going to teach you about different parts of a plant and their functions. So let's see what they are. Before I start, we have live online preschool classes for kids where we explain them all the concepts, we teach them how to read, we teach them how to write just like a physical preschool. Anyone interested in joining us, please do WhatsApp me for more details. We have a new September batch going to start soon. Alright children, now let's get into the topic. So children, the way we have different body parts like eyes, nose, mouth, ears, plants also has different parts. So let me show you what they are. What is this? It's a plant. 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 Now, this plant has many different parts these are called the roots roots what are these called children these are called roots roots and this is called stem 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 and these are called can anybody tell me what are these called loudly very good these are called leaves leaves very good these are called leaves and i also would like to show you some more parts like these these are called bud can you see here children this is called this is called a bud bud this is called a bud these are called birds what is a bird ma'am i have never heard of a bird Bud. It is not bird. It's bud. Buds are nothing but small, tiny, young, new flowers that a plant carries. These are the small flowers or fruits a plant carries. We call them buds. Can you see two small buds here children? These are called buds. Buds. And these are flowers. And these are called flowers. Can you tell me the color of the flower here? It's white in color. Okay. So, this is a plant. Plant. A plant has many parts. They are roots, stem, leaves, buds, flowers. Some plants also has fruits. This is a flower plant. This is a flower plant. Whereas we also have plants that bears fruits like apple, like chiku, promaganate. These are all fruit plants and this is a flowering plant. Alright children, now let us learn something more about the plants. Now let's have a deeper look into the parts of a plant. So children, what are these? These are called leaves. Can you tell me the color of the leaf children? Loudly anybody? Do you know the color of a leaf? Very good. It's green in color. Leaves are green in color. Have you ever wondered why are leaves only in green color? Because they have a green color pigment called chlorophyll. Repeat it after me children. Leaves are green in color because they have a green pigment called chlorophyll 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 a green pigment called chlorophyll and that is the reason leaves are green in color they observe sunlight they observe sunlight from the sun and prepare food okay now next these are called buds. It's not birds. They are buds. Birds. Birds are tiny flowers. They protect the newly formed leaves near the birds. And the birds grow out to be a beautiful flower. So, bird is again another part of a plant. And here we have flowers. Flowers. Can you tell me which flower is this anybody children? Can you name the flower? This is called 
chrysanthemum white chrysanthemum we call it white chrysanthemum so these are called flowers do you know children flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant just like the way we have eyes which are the most beautiful part of ourselves for plants flowers and fruits are the most beautiful parts because of which they look so beautiful isn't it these flowers attract honey bees insects and butterflies because they have sweet nectar in the flowers flowers are the beautiful parts of a plant next we have stem so children look here this is called a stem 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 is a very important part of any plant just like the way we have our spinal cord can you touch your spinal cord yes do you have a spinal cord by the way yes we all have spinal cord because of which we are standing we are walking we are sitting right in the same way these plants also has a strong stem these stem holds the plant stand upright and they grow tall isn't it that's because of the strength in the stem stem we call it stem stem stems give energy to the plant to stand upright okay do you eat food every day yes yes then how do a plant eat its food every day can anybody tell me where is the food for a plant shall we give it a chapati okay shall we give it a pizza no why because you eat chapati you eat pizza why can't a plant eat so can anybody tell me children yes very good plant needs only water we need to water the plants plants are sown in soil this is called soil soil inside the soil we have roots like this stems carry food to different parts of a plant through the stem the plant gets its food the stems carry water and minerals required for the plant to grow with the help of roots the stem carries water to different parts of a plant and these leaves also make food from the sunlight because of which the plant grows okay so for any plant to grow sunlight is very important like the way you drink milk every day to grow strong plants also requires sunlight to grow and plant also requires water to grow okay children stems are used to carry food from the roots to the different parts of a plant and that is the main function of a stem all right children and the last part which we will not be able to see outside is can anybody tell me which is that one part which cannot be seen outside the plant yes those are called the roots roots these are called the roots so children in this plant can you show me where are the roots show me where are the roots here can anybody show me the roots now there are no roots ma'am do you say that no the roots are inside the soil the roots are inside the soil if you take out the plant you will be able to see the roots but should we do that no you have to water the plant and take care of the plant so that they will grow all right children so here i got a plant for you to show the roots these are called roots this is how roots looks like children roots are cream in color this looks like hairs thin hairs this is called a root 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 is one more very important part of a plant just like our heart put your hand here everybody can you hear any sound 
lub dub lub dub lub dub yes very good see as heart is a very important part for us in the same way roots are very important for any plants to grow even if you pluck out a leaf nothing will happen the tree can still be alive even if you pluck out a flower nothing will happen still the plant is alive okay children even if you are trying to trying to break a small stem the plant can still be alive but imagine if you are cutting away the roots the plants cannot live anymore the plants will die if you cut out the roots the plants will die so root is a very important part of a plant okay and that is the reason root is already inside the soil we cannot see roots outside see roots are underground roots are underground inside the soil when you pour water to the plant the roots absorbs the water and sends it to the plant using this stem to different parts the roots also takes minerals from the soil and that is the food for the roots remember children roots gets its food from the soil and the water through which it prepares the food here and through this thin hair the water will travel up just like this through the stem and to the plants roots are the very important part of a plant because if you remove the roots the plant will not be alive anymore all right so remember roots are the very important part of a plant because roots carry food to the different parts of a plant this is all about plant and the different parts of a plant all right children now let's quickly revise the different parts of a plant okay can you tell me which part is this one these are called very good roots and this is called stem 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 very good and what is this called children can you tell me these are called leaves 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 are green in color because they have a pigment called chlorophyll okay here we have three parts roots stem leaves and next these are called buds birds 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 are the newly born flowers or fruits which grows out to be a new flower or fruit okay and these are called flowers 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 this is a flower plant these are called flowers flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant what is the food given to the plant water water we have to water the plants every day for them to grow okay so if you water the plants then they will give you lots of flowers like this if you are not watering the plants then the roots will not get any food and hence the plant will die this is all about the different parts of a plant hope you have really liked the session along with me today see you again in the next class children till then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel we also have online classes for preschool kids interested parents can whatsapp me for more details we have classes for nursery junior kg and senior kg regular online preschool live classes so ping me for more details i'll see you again in the next class children till then take care bye